Hello and welcome to Viva Mondo's webinar. Uh, today we are joined by the Russian University, ITMO University. Um, they have a wonderful presentation for us. Uh, but before we get started on that, I just want to give you a little uh, rundown on the how to use Zoom and where to ask questions, because we, we do want questions. Please do ask questions. Uh, we will be get, getting to the questions at the end of the webinar. Um, if you could ask any questions in the Q&A box at the bottom, that would be great. Uh, and a little bit about Viva Mondo and, and what we do to help students onto the next part of their lives. And we actually are here to give you visa advice, travel advice, uh, and all things of international travel, especially in these hard times. Now, uh, I'm going to pass you over to Tatiana for the rest of the presentation. Yeah, um, thanks, Tarola. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar today. My name is Tatiana, and I am working for the admissions, uh, international admissions at ITMO University. And uh, to begin with, just a brief information about the ITMO University, where ITMO stands for Information Technologies, Mechanics, and Optics. ITMO University is one of the leading Russian universities, universities, and it is located in the cultural capital of Russia, the beautiful city of St. Petersburg. Um, and today my colleagues and I will tell you more about the opportunities which are offered uh, at ITMO University for the international students from all over the world. Uh, currently, there are more than 2,400 uh, 2, international students studying at ITMO University from different countries of the world. And um, ITMO offers a wide range of educational programs of different levels, starting from the preparatory courses and uh, continuing with bachelor's, master's and PhD studies in such advanced areas as um, information technologies, uh, data science, cybersecurity, quantum technologies, robotics, biotechnologies, and also uh, very popular interdisciplinary fields such as, for example, digital humanities and um, art and science. And um, I think that we should start from the most important point, which is educational process. And for that, I want to give uh, the floor to my colleague, Anna, who is in charge of the Educational Services Office. Anna, please. Thank you. It's more is a national research university, and we can create our own educational standards. In our standards, we combine professional disciplines with soft skills and digital culture. Every master program includes fundamental disciplines, which are the base of the program. Such disciplines are about the main field of master program. Most fundamental uh, courses are on the first year of study. But educational program is it more in it more. It is not only hard skills disciplines. We include soft skills courses in every program. Soft skills, competences help to communicate at work and find your place in project team. Digital culture is around us uh, in every part of our life. And we involve digital culture uh, competences during education in it more. Of course, we understand that the main knowledge uh, in it more is professional skills, and we collaborate with industry and involve experts uh, from different companies in teaching. They share their experience and teach the practical skills which can be used in further work. So we unite fundamental disciplines, soft skills, digital culture, and professional skills in every program. Next slide, please. In ITMO University, every student can choose personal way of study, individual educational track. You can find variety of choices in your curriculum in ITMO. Only you decide what to learn and how to learn. I will tell you about some choices available in ITMO. So what you can choose. We offer you to choose one soft skill discipline. Now in every master curriculum, there are at least four soft skills disciplines. You can choose discipline negotiations, influence and conflict 
or another discipline, emotional intelligence. These courses help you in further work or you can choose international research management. This course helps you in your research work or you can even choose online course, Life in Science, Guide of Young Researcher. You can choose model, entrepreneurial culture, creative technologies or thinking. In digital culture disciplines, you can choose the level, basic or advanced. The main choice you should make during study in ITMO is the specialization. This model consists of several professional disciplines. Specialization extends your master program and disciplines are oriented on increasing knowledge in one professional area. In every master program, there are several facultative disciplines. Facultative disciplines are directed towards to enhance basic skills or additional professional skills. Facultative disciplines are optional. In its more programs, there are a lot of online courses. In its more, you can get an additional vacation education during your study. Master program consists not only from disciplines. A huge part of program is internship and research work. How to organize your internship and research in it more will tell my colleague from it more career service center a little bit later. Next slide, please. If you choose it more, you will study in the center of St. Petersburg. You will study modular. So you will concentrate on one discipline during one time model and take the exam right in the end of the model. Best Russian and international professors will teach you in ITMO. ITMO is one of the best universities in Russia. Choose ITMO, make the best choice you can do. We will be very glad to see you in our university. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. That's really great that it, most students have this uh, awesome opportunity to adjust their study plans according to their interests. And they actually can make it even more individual by participating in um, international exchanges. Olya, will you tell us more about it, please? Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, I'll talk about international opportunities at the University, and there is plenty of them. Uh, can we put it onto the next slide, please? Okay, so first of all, there are international and double degree master programs. Uh, so if you're thinking of joining it more at the master level, you can choose from 24 international master programs that are in English. And nine of these programs are double degree programs, meaning that you can study at Itmo University for one year, go to a partner university for another year and graduate with two diplomas. It will be an amazing experience of living and studying in the international environment in St. Petersburg. And you can get personalized study plans, you know, attached to your interests, just like my colleague said, you'll gain a global perspective on the best practices, new technologies, you can work with um, international researchers and students from all over the world, and, you know, it's just a great opportunity for your future employment, for example. Can we go on to the next slide? Student at Ithmo University, you can participate in various academic mobility programs. There are short-term programs. Uh, you can see them on the left side. Uh, basically, it's uh, up to one month in length, and it can be a research internship, it can be a summer, winter school, it can be a conference, it can be a workshop, it can be in Russia, or it can be abroad. And ITMO University will support its students, you know, if you have this desire to participate in events like this. We also have international academic exchange programs. We do have a contest twice a year and we receive a lot of applications, but we also have a lot of universities you can choose from. So we have more than 25 countries on the list and more than 90 universities, it's nine zero. Um, you can go abroad for one or two semesters 
And, you know, if you're a bachelor student, for example, it's an amazing opportunity for you to try studying in Russia and also go abroad and experience even, you know, a third country, something different, or maybe a fourth country if you go to a different, you know, if you go to a different country for your second semester, for example. Uh, an opportunity to receive a financial support during this exchange program. So if you will have any questions regarding these two programs, there are contacts on the slide and you can always, you know, find us, talk to us and just follow ITMO Exchange on Instagram if you're interested in joining ITMO University and participate in international programs because there's plenty of information there. Can we go on to the next slide? If you're still thinking about whether you should participate in academic mobility programs, for example, there is a program called Study Abroad at Home. It's in English and you will join students from our partner universities studying at it more for their semester exchange. It's also a great opportunity to meet new people, to practice your English, and you will get an official certificate at the end that you participate in this program. There are usually between three to six different courses you, that you can choose from. And, you know, it's just very interesting. Uh, so maybe that would be something you want to try. There is also a body system. So for every international student who comes to Itmo University, we are providing a student a body who helps them to, you know, get around St. Petersburg, um, Bodies help to navigate studies and fun activities. They help them to, you know, we help international students to find accommodation, find their way around the town, uh, find campuses, you know, and just do these little things that sometimes might be, you know, unusual for international students. Uh, but one of my colleagues will talk about body system later. Otherwise, thank you for your attention. Um, thank you, Olya. Thanks. Um... I would like to continue with another very important point for any student, including international students for sure, and this is the administrative support provided by the university. And speaking about the administrative support of the students, I'd like to say that basically all administrative offices of the university uh, are open for the student and they actually work to make the students experience more positive, more convenient and more smooth. And uh, I would like just to uh, highlight three most important uh, offices for the students, for the international students. And uh, first of all, it's student services office, which is a real hotspot for the students because uh, the office provides huge amount of services for the students from making up any kind of documents for the students and uh, giving information about, about everything, about schedules, classes, dormitories, about available financial support and many, many other issues. And uh, it's also a very convenient co-working space where students can just meet each other or, for example, uh, brainstorming in groups or just to spend some nice time together. Um, the next uh, very important place, especially for the international students for sure, is the Immigration Services Office. As you probably know, migration laws can be quite strict and quite complex and uh, it's not always easy to embrace all of them, especially for the first year students. And uh, ITMO Immigration Office provides all the necessary information about those rules about all the immigration regulations in Russia. And uh, it also carries out uh, the uh, procedures of uh, providing the official immigration registration for the students and also uh, carries out the visa extensions in due time, which is two very important uh, procedures of any international students in Russia. And uh, of course, uh, it is very important for ITMO to take care of students' health and uh, at ITMO medical centers. Uh, the students can receive any medical treatment if necessary or just have a doctor's consultation. Uh, and uh, in the current global situation, which is affected by COVID-19, it's even more important to always be in touch with the professionals, with the doctors. And for such cases, <clears throat> 
there is a special hotline at uh, Eatmo University, and basically any student uh, can call if he or she feels not well, and he or she will get all the necessary information and consultations. Um, and, uh, well, a big, big part of any student's concern usually are about um, the living conditions provided by the universities. And here at IDMO, uh, we provide uh, a comprehensive support by offering the students several types of accommodation, depending on the students' uh, desires, requirements, and uh, opportunities. And um, there are more than 10 dormitories, 10 student dormitories uh, across the city. Uh, and uh, at the dormitories, accommodation is shared, usually by two or by three students per one room. That can be international students, Russian students, which is also very convenient for international students who would like to be more uh, involved in the local environment and uh, study and learn Russian language, for example. Um, this option um, is uh, the most uh, affordable for the students and usually it's also quite um, convenient because uh, the students have an opportunity just to get acquainted with each other right in the dormitories um, the second option which we offer to all the students is accommodation at one of itmo university's partner city hotels and uh, here accommodation can be either twin or single so it's up to the student to decide whether he or she would like to live with a friend or stay alone in the dormitory. And um, um, here also some extra services are provided, which are not maybe provided in each of the dormitories, such as, for example, um, everyday cleaning services, uh, reception services and other. In the next option, which is probably most convenient of all, uh, is accommodation in the recommended apartment hotels in the city. Here, uh, the students also can decide whether they want to live alone uh, in the studio apartment or live with a friend. And um, uh, this option is, uh, is more expensive, but it includes even more extra services, such as, for example, um, all the necessary utensils, 24-7 administration and security services, parking lots, and even a swimming pool. And um, the last but not the least option, uh, which is actually more popular among the graduate student, is uh, renting your own apartment. St. Petersburg is a very big city and uh, the number of renting offerings is uh, just huge. Uh, so one can definitely find an apartment of uh, one taste and, uh, and to make this process, uh, the process of searching the proper place uh, more convenient, more easy, um, the students have the assistance, the constant assistance of their tutors or as my colleague Ola has already mentioned, we call them buddies at ITMO. And, um, Actually, one of ITMO buddies is here today with us, and I think that she will tell us even more about it, right, Alina? Alina? Uh, hi, everyone. Yep. Um, today, I'm going to tell you about uh, ITMO activities. Uh, uh, ITMO uh, has many student societies that you can join, and you'll be also able to apply for your organization. And if you meet all requests, we'll support your initiative. Uh, at our university, it's possible to find a club with interests uh, suitable specifically for you. Uh, there are a couple of available, available clubs uh, like Flame, perfect for ones interested in learning various dancing skills and techniques. Music club, uh, like uh, where you, everybody who wants to play any kind of musical instruments uh, can find something for themselves. And if you already have some skill, there is a possibility to join a band or vocal group. It's more green, a club dedicated to ecology and current state of environment. Uh, a club where you can help and connect with animal shelters around St. Petersburg, Megabyte School, 
uh, where you can try yourself as a journalist, photographer, DJ, or even a light operator. Uh, there are many clubs to choose, so feel free to explore and choose what's best for you. Um, even language clubs where you can start or continue learning in any language you want. Uh, you can uh, check all opportunities on the link or ask me, for example. Uh, okay, next slide, please. Uh, by the way, uh, one club that you'll know for sure if you come to our university is more body system. Its main purpose uh, is to help international students adapt to life at ITMO and in St. Petersburg. Body system is a project that provides interaction between foreign and Russian students. As a part of the program, uh, Russian student uh, tutors called body uh, attached uh, to foreign exchange students who became the first local friends and assistants for foreigners. I am a buddy too, and I want to say that we are trying to help foreign students adapt in our city, feel like at home and navigate uh, our university without any problems. Uh, okay, next slide, please. And about sports, of course, our university supports the sports initiative of each student. You can find uh, for yourself more than 50 sports for various levels of training, from beginners to professionals. Several sports complexes are open for you on different buildings of our university. A lot of gyms, swimming pools, climbing clubs, shooting range, wrestling and boxing halls, billiards halls, and much more. All of this is available, available for you at our university and feel free to choose anyone you want, anything you want. We are looking forward to see you at our university and we are sure that everyone will find hobbies and activities for themselves. Thank you. Thank you, Alina. Alina, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Well, of course, uh, students' activities are very important for the newcomers, for international students, and it, it is as important as to have a proper administrative support and uh, um, also the opportunities for studies and uh, international experience. And I think that uh, besides those, um, one more topic which is always of great importance for any international student is um, whether the university have an opportunity, have any opportunities of uh, scholarship or financial support to the students. And uh, here I would like to tell you more about some options which are available uh, for the international students from any country of the world. And among uh, the main ones, uh, I, should, <clears throat> I should name uh, two scholarship programs which are arranged and uh, uh, provided by the Russian government. The first one is for the master's applicants. It is called International Olympiad Open Doors. This uh, competition is uh, uh, held absolutely 100% uh, online. And um, it is designed for those international students who would like to pursue master's degree in the top Russian universities. Uh, to participate in this uh, competition, uh, you just need to uh, sign up on the website. You can see the, the website address uh, on the slide. And uh, basically to fill up the application form, to upload the required application documents, which are usually your academic credentials, your bachelor certificate or your master certificate, if you have one already. Uh, including uh, the complete transcript of records. Uh, also, it is very much uh, recommended to upload some supporting documents uh, to your portfolio. Among those supporting documents, uh, there could be some certificates of, complex of completion of relevant courses or certificates of participations in international conferences, summer schools, maybe certificates of um, 
uh, or awards, as well as the lists of your uh, scientific publications, which can also be relevant for the uh, desired program. Actually, uh, the registration for the next intake, which is uh, the next academic year, is already has already started. So if you would like to uh, apply for this scholarship program, you just need to go uh, online on the website, just need to apply, uh, just need to uh, submit your application and uh, wait for the first uh, stage results. The next stage uh, after the submission of your portfolio will be the online uh, examinations. After this, you will be informed about the results and basically by the March next year, you will already know the results and you will already know whether you have been admit admitted to the university or maybe you would be uh, recommended some other alternative. This is about the first option. The next option is uh, also the government, the governmental scholarship for international students. Uh, but this is about the quotas or let's say the numbers or uh, the precise numbers of scholarship which Russian government uh, allocates for each country of the world. Uh, in total, a Russian government provides uh, 15,000 scholarships uh, annually for the international students. Um, uh, about the application procedure for this uh, precise um, quota scholarship program, uh, I can tell you that this is also uh, this also could be made online. Uh, you are going, <clears throat> you should go to the website to uh, sign up to submit your application and um, attach in this basically the same uh, uh, application documents such as your educational documents the same as i have already mentioned your bachelor's or master's degree with your transcript of records some kinds of supporting documents and also the translations of all these documents into the russian language um, uh, also, what is important is that uh, while submitting your application, you will be asked by the online system, online application system, to name up to six Russian universities to which you would like to uh, send your application. And um, uh, basically, uh, how it works: where if you name Itmo University on the first line then your application will be directly, first of all, to ITMO University. So uh, you should keep in mind that this uh, list of the, student, uh, of the universities uh, should be made in the prioritized uh, order. Um, after the submission of the required documents and the completion of your um, application, you will be asked to also pass the entrance um, examinations. And depending on your country, uh, the type of uh, entrance examination uh, may vary. It could be either online test or maybe uh, the online interview or in some country it can in some countries it can also be the face-to-face um, -face examination. So it depends on your country and um, uh, as soon as you register in the system, you will start to uh, receive the notification from the coordinator of this program at your country about the precise requirements for competitive selection for the examinations as well as the precise deadlines for each step of your application. Um, what is included in this scholarship? Well, first of all, you, uh, if you win this scholarship, you will be exempted from any tuition fees during the whole period of your studies, uh, regardless uh, your uh, academic performance even. Uh, also, this scholarship includes the monthly allowance. Basically, it varies from two to 4,000 rubles per month. Uh, which you can spend, um, for example, uh, pay, you can pay uh, your, I don't know, transportation for the month. So this is kind of a extra financial support for the students. 
And uh, it's also important to mention what is not included in this scholarship, right? So basically, um, travel and living expenses are not um, include are not included into the scholarship, as well as the accommodation costs, especially if you are prefer, prefer if you would prefer to stay not in the student dormitory, but in some other options of accommodation, which we have been already talked about. And maybe just uh, a couple of important points for those of you who would like to apply for this uh, governmental scholarship. As I have already mentioned, it is very important to prioritize uh, the universities uh, upon application because your application will be first of all sent to the university which you mentioned uh, first on the on the list. Also, it is very important. This is, uh, let's say, a very uh, specific um, characteristic of the Russian higher education is that uh, each program uh, has um, the general code and general track name. Uh, as you see in the uh, uh, as you see on the slide, for example, uh, the the educational track named Applied Mathematics and Informatics with the codes uh, which you see on the slide can comprise different programs within this track. So it is very much recommended before applying uh, to check the website of the desired university in order to, um, to get this information. I mean, the information about the codes, the tracks and the specializations which are included into the each code so that it could be very easy for you to choose the right code during your application for the for the scholarship. Um, yes, and uh, this was um, about the general scholarship, which are provided by the Russian government for the international students from all over the world. And but besides these options, uh, some of ITMO faculties and some of ITMO international programs also offer financial support for the most successful candidates. And um, uh, I want to give floor to my colleague Palina, who will share information about such opportunities uh, available at ITMO CAM Bio Cluster. Yes, thank you, Tatiana. And hello, guys. My name is Paulina, and I'm, uh, and I will tell you a bit about uh, Cambio Cluster. That is basically a faculty uh, that has a close cooperation of chemistry, biology, and IT inside, and we are rather young uh, so the faculty works since 2014 but we already have more than 200 people and uh, 14 uh, research labs that you can work uh, during your master program next slide please uh, so our mission uh, combines education, research, and industry, and these are three pillars uh, that uh, rule like everything at the faculty, including our master programs. Next slide. And uh, now I think the most important some words about master programs and my colleagues already have uh, told you about a lot of opportunities and now you may see how they are combined uh, within one uh, master program. So we have two programs. Uh, one is mostly related to chemistry. It's called chemistry of applied materials and another related to biology and it's called molecular biology and biotechnology. Both programs are based on the research and or industrial projects that you uh, start to working on from your first semester and not just from the last one. Uh, so uh, you do this uh, work, of course, not uh, by only by yourself, but under supervision of uh, one of group leaders. All of them have international experience, so it will be easy to communicate. And uh, also both these programs are fully taught in English and they are international, not only from this point of view, but also we have a lot of students already from different countries. Some of them uh, have been admitted through these programs that Tatiana just mentioned, like Open Doors or Russian governmental support programs. So uh, you will not have any problem in communication with your group mates or your teachers. 
And also, as already have been mentioned, these programs have modular education. So you will learn one discipline um, at one time and then you will move to another one. Um, so some words about more opportunities. Uh, we, of course, participate in internship programs. So um, starting from your second semester, you may go to study semester or research internship to um, like uh, partner countries of our programs. And also during your study, uh, you have free access to high-tech equipment that we have at our faculty. So if you are really into science, into research in the fields of materials, chemistry, biology, it's a real chance for you not only have theoretical uh, preparation and theoretical knowledge, but also uh, receive a huge practical experience. Um, we also have additional scholarships uh, for successful students, so you may get from uh, 10 to 25,000 rubles per month, so it's about like from 100 to 300 dollars, and uh, you may get it uh, like for success in research, in education, and if you show motivation uh, for like studying and so on. So yeah, you can participate in our faculty competition and get additional support. Uh, also, if we are talking about results, uh, during your study, uh, you have an opportunity to publish paper uh, as a first author in uh, high-end journals uh, and uh, as we are working in the field of frontier science so it's something really up to date uh, you have in the end good portfolio and uh, one other option um, one other perk that uh, already have been mentioned today that uh, during your study you may choose uh, individual track not only in terms of education but also in terms of research so so you may choose uh, specialization you may choose research lab you may choose research project so it's really uh, individual and uh, yes you can build your career uh, next slide please and uh, just some examples of uh, research fields that we have. I will not mention all of them. You can check them later at our website. Uh, but yes, we have uh, something related to medicine uh, as like nanopharmacy, for example. We have some mix of biology, chemistry, and uh, informational technologies like uh, computational chemistry and applied genomics. We have uh, some, something related to green chemistry like sustainable electrochemistry, for example. And also uh, we have industrial labs. So if you are interested not only in research, but also in um, how to move your research to real market, you can join industrial lab and learn not only like chemistry, biology, but also so marketing, management, economy, and uh, some similar disciplines. And yeah, next slide. Uh, so yes, uh, what I also wanted to mention that we are not just colleagues or students here, but we are also friends. So uh, you for sure will have an opportunity to participate in social life, not only at ITMO, but also at faculty. And if you want to learn more, you may contact me or through email, or you can check our website, Facebook or Instagram page. And please ask your questions if you have any in the form, so we can answer them later. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Paulina. It was very interesting. Um, well, as I have already mentioned in the beginning of our webinar, Itmo University is not only a technical university, but also a place where science and art meet each other. And uh, my colleague Ali Yan will be able to tell you all about it just in a few seconds. Can you, can you see me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hello everyone, dear fans, dear students. My name is Alia. I'm the head of the Art and Science Center at Itmo University. As you uh, heard from my colleagues, Itmo University is mostly a technical university. But a couple of years ago, the university decided to develop interdisciplinary programs, and one of them is the master's program in art and science. This is the first uh, master's program 
National Science in Russia, and it's taught in English, two-year program. And if you ask me where I am right now, I am in the newly opened, newly established um, gallery, or Art Itmo Residency, as we call it, AIR. So this is a hybrid space where um, uh, students of the master's program can showcase their projects. For example, behind me, you can see the project made by a student who is biotechnologist and bioartist. And this is also a space where students will work on their projects um, as um, the same way they would work in an artistic studio. So they will work on 3D printers, they will, will, will work with the robotics, um, uh, computer science and other instruments. Um, and um, thirdly, this space is for artists in the residency, the professional artists who, would, who will be creating their art projects in our space and then presenting them here. So what is art and science and what do we do basically? Our center is the platform for fostering collaboration between artists and scientists so that, um, for example, artists can work with artificial intelligence as, for example, you can see uh, here um, on the background, yeah, in the back, it's a project by a digital artist. So artists can work with robotics, artificial intelligence, computer science, biotechnologies, optics, photonics, with the key major research areas of ITMO University. And by the end of their studies, they can create their artistic projects as the ones that you can see in this gallery. Um, I hope you can see it well. Um, so, this is the master's program, program that we have is a unique opportunity for students with any academic background because uh, our students are, uh, our applicants are, have absolutely different backgrounds. Some of them are art historians, some of them are uh, filmmakers, uh, architects, designers, engineers, um, uh, robotics guys. So your background doesn't matter in fact. What uh, the most important thing is innovation and your willingness to create artistic projects because by the end of your studies, you're expected to present your project here and the exhibition of graduate works. And for the international, in order to support international students, um, in order to support artists who work in this very specific field, we uh, introduced an international scholarship and this scholarship is awarded um, to one talented uh, artist applicant who is interested in developing multidisciplinary projects um, in art and science uh, using robotics or computer technologies or biotechnologies, for example. And uh, uh, this, tuition, this scholarship covers tuition fees for two years of study and also artwork production costs, which amount to 25,000 rubles. Uh, it's about $300, I think a little more than $300. Um, uh, and this project, this program provides you with a unique opportunity to enter the world of contemporary art. For example, our first graduates um, were working in non-artistic fields, one of them uh, graduated uh, oil and gas and now she's a very um, she's a bubbling artist who presents her works in international um, festivals of technological art. So uh, returning to the scholarship, um, as I said, the tuition fees will be covered by the university and then all other expenses such as uh, travel expenses, accommodation and um, uh, well, other, other fees, uh, visa fees will be covered by the applicant um, himself or herself. Um, so, yes, and in order to be eligible for this um, scholarship, you have to have a bachelor's degree in art related or in fact any uh, field and have uh, experience in working on artistic projects. Um, preferably technological projects, or it can be video art and, or any other um, art related project. And um, have a firm commitment 
to create, to develop artistic practices using technologies, using scientific research. Um, and um, basically, in order to apply to the scholarship, you need to follow all the admissions uh, requirements. There are several ways to enter the university. One of them is by taking the exam. The second one is uh, by presenting your portfolio and participating in the portfolio context. And option number three is participating in the art and science contest. And in addition to all the required documents that you need to submit in order to, to enter the university and this master's program, you will have to send um, your written statement why basically I'm telling us why we should pick you as the recipient of the scholarship and also provide two recommendation letters from your teachers, colleagues, um, curators, um, those who have worked with you on artistic projects maybe. And uh, number three, you will also have to um, submit your artistic portfolio with five to 10 works or projects that you've completed uh, in the past. Do I still have time, Tatiana? Or, so basically, basically this is it. After you submit all your documents, we will uh, have an online interview with you and let you know the results of the, um, of the scholarship. Yeah, if it's awarded to you or not. So, and if we talk about the benefits of the program, um, this is, as I told you, this is a unique program that gives you um, access to, to the labs and research centers of each more universities. It gives you an opportunity to create your own artistic projects using the language of science and technologies. Um, you will also dive into the creative, a very intense creative and scientific life of St. Petersburg, one of the most beautiful uh, cities not only in Russia, but in the world. This program is taught in English, uh, so you can, um, yes, you can easily study. And you can also take the entrance exam from anywhere in the world. Uh, yeah, basically this is it. If you, do, if you have any questions, uh, you can follow us uh, in Instagram, arts.itmo, or contact us via email at arts at itmo.ru. So all the contact details will be in the, you can see them in the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Alia, for such an inspiring excursion. <laughs> and one more ITMO faculty also opens uh, its doors to international students. And my colleague Elvira is here today to tell you about the options available at the Faculty of Physics and Engineering. Elvira, please. Yeah, thank you, Tatiana. Uh, my name is Elvira. I will introduce the Department of Physics and Engineering. Our department is based on the International Scientific Research Center, Nanophotonics and Metamaterials, in close collaboration with the Russian Academy of Science Physical Institute and collaboration with the foreign scientists from Australia, USA, Japan, uh, Germany and France. In main the main academic and scientific principles of our department are partnership, academic freedom, professional development, and education. We work, work in advanced laboratories with modern equipment at the cutting edge of science and publish research results only in high impact journals. The research has appeared on several covers on such journals as Nature Photonics and Laser Photonics Reviews. Tatiana, I would like to ask you to uh, go back and show uh, covers. Yes, please. Um, we have a YouTube channel with the lectures, seminars, and you can explore perovskite and optical laboratory through the link on the slide. So let's focus on educational programs and opportunities now. There are two international master degree programs at the department, uh, which are completely taught in English. Uh, nanophotonics and metamaterials has a six year history in training students, graduated foreign students, and the program is led by Professor Andrzej Bogdanov. It is unique in Russia and one of the few in the world uh, which combines and technologies and metamaterials training. The program is focused on strong connection with the scientific research and international projects in theoretical and experimental photonics. Another program, Quantum and Hybrid Materials, is uh, young, 
but perspective and led by our senior professor Ivan Yosh, who received the early prize of for achievement in fundamental physics. This program also combines theoretical and experimental uh, specialization, but specializations are different from each other. You can choose theoretical physics or application of material science in biology and chemistry. Both master programs open wide perspectives in theoretical physics and manufacturing advanced materials. Please pay attention to high level prerequisites to attend courses. You may find syllabus of each course at the department's website before you enroll in a program. Both international programs are open for collaboration with foreign partners and you may see several partners on the current picture. There are partners where alumni work after graduation where students could study during an exchange semester and internships, and from where we invite lecturers. And I would like to announce what we can offer for foreign students. We offer special benefits for prospective foreign students who apply to study and graduate at our department. It is a laboratory scholarship. All requirements to receive a scholarship are available on the slide and department admission resources. I recommend you to send the application as soon as possible. Each master student start the scientific research from the first months of study and more successful students are offered laboratory positions. Besides the scientific and education part of the department life, we offer comfortable and high motivated atmosphere for professional development and corporate leisure events. It could be a camping or volleyball with the dean or other interesting events because team building is a value for us. Shortly speaking, you, your two year study period at the department would uh, be full of real science and social connections with colleagues from all over the world. From enrollment to graduation, you will be supported by administrative team of our department. Uh, Julie Tostig is uh, the head of administration, uh, admission process at our department and coordinates the scholarship process for foreign students. Tatiana, could you please to, to next slide? Yes. Uh, as soon as you become a student, I will help you with the questions, uh, with any questions during the education process. The department is located at the historic city center near the sightseeing and close to the dorms. You will study and work at the modern open space office with a comfortable environment so you don't need to rent co-working or study in dorm. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Elvira, for such detailed information. Um, I would like to say that Ikmo University is not only uh, about the studies but also and research, but also a platform for starting your professional development and career. And here at ITMO, students are provided by the comprehensive support of the Career Services Center, which helps the students uh, with uh, identifying the professional perspectives. And uh, let's know more about it from my colleague, Yekaterina. Thank you, Tatiana. Good evening, uh, my name is Katerina. I represent ITMO Career Services Center. Here today, I'd like to tell you about career possibilities for foreign nationals in Russian Federation. I'd like to begin with a brief overview on the legal situation in our country in uh, this sphere. According to the federal law uh, on the legal status of uh, foreign citizens, uh, in the Russian Federation. Full-time international students uh, don't need uh, a work uh, permit to apply for a job in Russia. So uh, international students can uh, combine work and study during the education process. After graduation, uh, the situation changes. If you want to stay in Russia and uh, work here after you your graduation, or uh, you will need to obtain work or visa. Next slide, please. Now, uh, let's talk about how can uh, it more career service uh, center help you uh, in the process of building ca uh, your career. We provide uh, career consultation of, for your students and uh, graduates. We support students' uh, practical training uh, process. Uh, there are more than 1,000 agreements between ITMO University and uh, leading uh, campaigns in, in dif uh, different sectors. 
we organize careers, career uh, events uh, which help students uh, get to know their future employees. Uh, also, we have our new project, uh, Global Careers Project, in which we inform students about vacancies and uh, internships uh, that will take place online and offline in our other countries. Next slide, please. And uh, on this slide, you can see helpful links uh, that will uh, help you learn uh, more about uh, our center and our project, work uh, opportunities in and, uh, and out of ITMO University. Uh, thank you for attention. Uh, feel free to contact us via mail uh, if you have any question. Thank you, Katerina. Wow, that was fast, but very interesting. Thanks. Um, and thank you all who joined us today. I guess that we have a couple of minutes for answering the questions, if you, if you have any. Hi, guys. Great. Thank you for a really informative presentation. It was brilliant. Uh, we do have quite a few questions in the answer question and answer box, so I'm going to kick this off. Uh, right now. The first question uh, is from Avery Olga. All right, I would like to know how the university support for students' mental health. If you have any therapies on campus available to help students specifically during these hard times as it's COVID-19 era. Um, yeah, that's basically what maybe I forgot to mention during my uh, presentation. ITMO University provides both uh, general medical uh, support and psychological support for students, for staff, or just uh, partners uh, and friends of the university. Basically, any students who would like to have this psychological support can contact the psychological center anonymously or in person it's up to the student and uh, will have all the necessary support and uh, consultations great thank you um another question i would like to know if any of the bodies are international students or all of them are local students alina could you help us with this question please uh yes of course uh you're about visas yep no, uh, whether all the bodies... Uh... Uh, international students, yeah. Uh, no, we are all local students. Uh, all of us, uh, before we became bodies, uh, all of us have kind of interview. Uh, we have to be responsible. We have to be... We, we have to know uh, our city. Uh, so we are all usually local students and we know the city, we know all the interesting places and we can help you with documents with activities and with other with sports and all these things uh, so we are local can i add a word to this uh yes yeah. yeah, so at our faculty uh we decided to introduce from this year like our local body system and uh, surprisingly some of international students really wanted to participate and help other international students to adapt uh, easier so yes you may find uh, at international programs you may find maybe not official bodies but at least your group mates bodies who would like to help yeah, but at our university, you can find all of us are helpful, so you can find someone to help you, body of course, for you. Awesome. Uh, okay, next question. Does the university offer help with international visas if my offices are currently closed because of COVID? Uh, well, as I have mentioned already, uh, there is the international, uh, there is the Immigration Services Office at ITMO University, which is uh, open for international students and always uh, willing to help and support in any difficult processes, including visa invitations, applying for visas, applying for registrations. Uh, though, unfortunately, if uh, the restrictions applied by the foreign country, it more international migration office will not be able to fix this problem, but for sure it will be the first place for the student to come with the questions and uh, to get some information and advice. Great, thank you. And another question, what happens after winning the 
scholarship. Do you send the student any documentation? Do they have to add anything to that? Uh, well, if we are talking about the government and scholarship, basically all the documents, well, the copies of the documents are should be submitted online into the profile on the website. After that, when the applicant uh, succeeded into in the uh, competitive uh, examinations, all the documents automatically are forwarded to the chosen university. So basically, the applicant uh, have has, uh, do not need to send anything else, at least at this step. So it's uh, there is n there is no need to send twice the documents twice. Awesome. Okay, and. There is another question here. Can I apply for the scholarship if I want to study a master's degree? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Both programs uh, which I've been talking about, uh, Open Doors and scholarship, uh, governmental scholarship, they are available both for bachelor's and master's applicants. Perfect. What are the application deadlines? Um, well, if we're talking about the scholarship, as I mentioned already, the quota governmental scholarship deadlines may vary from country to country. So first step to do is to sign up on the portal to get the proper notification from the uh, coordinator of your country about the precise deadlines. Approximately the deadlines are set up in March, but uh, you should anyway be more uh, attentive to the precise deadlines of your country. If we're talking about the deadlines to the university as a self-funded candidate, then uh, the next deadline, the next application round will be officially open in February 2021. And the application deadline will be in August 2021. Brilliant, thank you. And I think our last question uh, that we have here is, do you have any options for professional internships? Um, sure, well, basically uh, the master's uh, program curricular uh, suppose that uh, each student should have the um, the thesis defense as well as the professional training within the program. This is the part uh, of the program, which should be uh, completed to be graduated and to get the degree. Okay, well, thank you so much for the presentation um, and to all of the panelists today. Uh, please do go and visit viva-mondo.com and sign up to our newsletter. And of course, if you have any questions, do email uh, the lovely Tatiana and ITMO University with any of your questions and they will get to you when they can. Any last words, guys? Uh, no, thanks for joining. Thanks for being with us. <laughs> Awesome. Have a great day and evening wherever you are. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.